To create a single invoice, go to Invoicing and then click on Create Invoice. From here, choose a specific date range if you have one, then scroll down to check the box next to a specific client. You will then see checkboxes appear in the center and to the right of your client and projects. The center boxes are for your labor and expense items. Here you can uncheck your labor items box if you just want to bill for expenses at this time or vice versa. To the right, you have the ability to bill projects separately. Say for example, you have multiple projects under a client. If the boxes to the right are unchecked, that means that all projects will show on one invoice, subgroup per project, and grand total at the bottom. If you want each project to show up on their own invoice, you can check the boxes to the far right. We're going to keep those boxes to the far right unchecked, but make sure to watch the Create Batch Invoice tutorial next for more information on separating your projects and batch invoicing. Once you choose the client, you can scroll up and click Save. At this point, you are at a pre-bill. Here you can make any adjustments or changes as needed. At the top left, you can change the invoice date and billing through date. You can add a discount set to a percentage or flat fee, and you can apply that to either labor, expenses, or both. To the right, you can also write up or down your invoice totals to adjust them as needed. To learn more, make sure to watch the invoice write up and down tutorial. You can change your invoice description or add an invoice note and make sure to click save for all of these options to make the changes stick on the invoice. Scroll down and you'll be able to see the time and expenses within this invoice. You can click on an entry to open it, make adjustments as needed, and then once you're finished, click save. Once you do this, the pre-bill will automatically adjust with the changes that you made. Scrolling back up to the top, the Invoice Summary tab allows you to summarize your invoice. To learn more, make sure to watch the Invoice Summary tutorial. Your Payments tab allows you to receive new payments and apply existing payments to this invoice. Once you're finished making changes to an invoice, you can click the Finalize button. Finalizing an invoice will allow you to take it out of a pre-bill state and send it to your client. You can print your invoice to see what it would look like. You can create a PDF to save to your computer. You can also export your invoice to a leads format if you're on a legal bill for time plan. You also have the option to email the invoice to your client. You can click the email option to fill in the details to send to your client. You can also click to generate your invoice link to see what the invoice would look like if you were sending it today. The client portal shows the clients their invoice, allowing them to print it, create a PDF, and also pay for the invoice if you're linked up with PayPal, Stripe, LawPay, or if you have a custom link. To learn more, make sure to watch the client portal tutorial. If you finalize an invoice and need to make a few more adjustments or changes, just click the unfinalize button at the top of the invoice. This will put the invoice back into a pre-bill state to make more changes. If you're not ready to send this invoice to a client, you can go ahead and click the delete button at the top. This will push all entries back to an unbilled state so you can invoice them again at a later date. Thank you for watching the Create Invoice tutorial and continue watching for the Create Batch tutorial next.